Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So for this video, we're going to talk about how to actually blow up in, I was going to say in 2021, but I guess this relates to every year because I feel like there is so much information out there and so many um, like social media platforms and content ideas and things and different ways to go about this that I think this message is something that I needed a few years ago when I first started because like it gets overwhelming and it feels like you have to do all of these strategic moves and create all of these like different content for each platform and just basically burn yourself out and go overkill and have to do every single possible thing in order to make it. So something that I'm realising for myself is that the best way to blow up is to do the thing that feels authentic to you. And I know that sounds a bit like, well, whatever kind of thing. But when you think about it, there are so, so many things that you could potentially do. So for me, when I thought about doing all of the dance videos on TikTok because of the fact that they blow up a lot, like that's the main thing, especially over the last few years where so many people that were completely unknown, they probably didn't even have followings on any of the other um, social media platforms they filmed a few videos just looking cute and stuff like dancing around and then they blew up and I considered doing it because I knew that that is something that goes viral easily kind of thing so I considered it but then when I tried it it didn't feel good like it just made me feel so uncomfortable it didn't come naturally and I just don't resonate with it because I just feel awkward on camera when I'm trying to do that kind of thing. I've always felt like that. If I'm lip singing any song to my phone, it just feels awkward to me. So I couldn't, like trying to create the content felt like torture. And I feel like there's a lot of times when we look at the trends, we look at what's going viral and what's popular and we feel like we have to do that. And I'm realising that if it doesn't feel authentic, it's actually worse for you to try and do it because it's not authentic to your brand. So it's not something that you're going to be able to keep up with. If it goes viral, then what? Do you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to want to keep on doing it for very long because it doesn't feel good. And it it's more detrimental to your mental health than it is to try and be successful, if that makes sense. Like, this is just what I'm figuring out for myself. So I would rather do the content that I love, content that I know, obviously, um, people will resonate with. Like, you don't want to do things that are just shit or poor quality or unprofessional and all of that. Like, it has to be something that is authentic to your brand, but something that is creative and gonna draw attention. So there is some kind of strategy behind content, I feel like, but at the same time, it needs to be something that's authentic to you. And I think it's about finding the balance between the two of like, you're looking at the trends, you're looking at what people like, and you're understanding your own audience and your own demographic and the kind of content that they resonate with. But then at the same time, it also still needs to be authentic to you because you're the one that's got to create it. And in order for something to be successful, you have to be consistent at it. So that means you're going to have to create a lot of it and you want it to be something that you actually enjoy, otherwise you're gonna burn out and you're not gonna wanna do it after a short amount of time, you know? So I've come to realize that it's not just about looking at the trends, it's not just about doing every single strategy that you can think of, it's not just about like trying to blow up through one form of content or one way, I think it's about trying all of the things that like different marketing people and stuff talk about, like all of the different content ideas that you can think of, trying them all and seeing which ones resonate with you, seeing which ones you actually enjoy and actually like, and then putting them out there and seeing what happens. But you have to be consistent with it in order for any kind of traction to happen. Most people are not uploading one video and it just flies. Like, that doesn't really happen that often. I'm sure it does happen, but it doesn't happen very often. So 
I think it's about mentality, okay? We're gonna break this down <laughs> because as I'm talking, I'm like getting more and more um, channeled. What the fuck is the word? As I'm talking, like I'm understanding further and deeper into what I'm trying to say, because I always wing these videos and just let the thoughts flow however they want to. So as I'm like saying this, I'm kind of understanding myself a little bit more. So instead of feeling like you need to do this specific type of content because you know that it's successful and that people like it, I think it's about okay, what kind of content do I want to make? Like, what's authentic to me? What do I enjoy? What do I want to share with the world? Like, what's my message? What do I want to say? And then when you get clear on those things, you can then narrow down some content ideas that you actually love and feel excited about making. And then when you put them out there, you are able to be consistent because you actually enjoy it. And throughout time, if you're trialing and erroring different ways to create that content, like you're um, trying, I don't know, like obviously we want things to be improved upon. So if you take my YouTube videos, for example, if you look back at um, the last few years, especially the first videos, how I am on camera and things has completely progressed as I got more and more comfortable being on camera and being myself on camera and things. So like everything that you make is always going to improve, whether that's your music or whether that's content or whether that's like jewellery or whatever, it's always going to improve because we are always learning more as we go. So your content is going to improve as you go and with being consistent it's going to change and evolve with you with that content you know because it's never just going to be the same video over and over again because that would be boring and you would probably hate that as well and everybody would hate watching that if it was just the same video so obviously it's going to change and you're going to learn more and as you do more you're going to learn more and then it's just going to keep on going and growing with you but at least it's something that you actually want to be making and even if the blow up isn't instant or even if the blow up isn't like a, a short period of time it might take a few years but that gradual um, reaching new people that gradual evolving and expanding will really lay the foundation for you to be able to actually keep up with it and keep going with it and then when maybe a big moment happens where all of a sudden you gain like loads of followers or lots of people find you or something, you already um, have that foundation and that system and routine of creating the content and knowing exactly how you work, how you're able to create it in the best way that you can. Like that whole system is then there so that you can actually keep going with that and the momentum with your audience and with the content flow doesn't die or diminish or like shrivel up into nothing like because so many people go viral then they have nothing else to back it up with they have no more content they have no more music or whatever it is that they're releasing it goes viral but it was like unexpected and they're completely unprepared and I feel like if you experiment with all of the content ideas of things that you love and then you try it and you keep going and you keep posting it and you keep changing and evolving and figuring new things out about yourself and what you enjoy then when that moment happens which it will it absolutely will if you are consistent and you keep on going and you keep on believing in yourself it will happen and you'll be prepared and you'll have content ready and lined up to support it and keep that momentum going. So I just realised that blowing up is not like a overnight automatic thing for the majority of people. And on top of that, trying to blow up over something that you don't even enjoy or something that you're just doing as a trend can be very life sucking and soul sucking if you have to keep on doing it. Because chances are the majority of people that have blown up randomly have actually posted other things before that happened. Like it wasn't just their first piece of content and then it just went insane. <laughs> most people have posted many times, even if they've posted and then deleted, most people have posted a lot of different things and a lot of times throughout the years before that moment happened. So 
the best way to blow up is to be authentically you, is to be your unique self because you are unique and you have something to offer to whatever industry you're in, just purely by being yourself and allowing your creativity to shine. And you do that by creating whatever it is that you enjoy, whatever it is that you're passionate about, and you be consistent with that, and keep posting it, and keep creating it, and keep posting it, and keep creating it, and then just watch as you reach new people over periods of time, because surely this is something that you, like if you're passionate about it, and it's something that you want to be your career, then that means that you want longevity you want it to last over years not just an instant moment so if you want it to last over years then get used to doing it over years you know have the mindset of this is a part of my business or my career or whatever you want to call it this is a part of my path of becoming successful or reaching my goals or whatever it is that you want to say because I feel like we're already successful but a part of the the journey and process of reaching your goals is that I need to create content and I need to be however many frequent days of the week this is what I need to do and really lay that system for yourself of like this is actually it this is the success this is the journey this is the path this is the career this is it is me doing this and it becomes part of your daily life of you having um, different pieces of content that you create every week. I think it's just about switching your mindset to instead of it being about I need to blow up, I need to blow up, I need to blow up, what can I do to blow up and having that like one moment in your head of the moment that you blow up instead of having that just one point in time being your focus, having the full lifetime in your focus where it's like I might blow up here I might blow up here I might reach more people here in time like at different stages throughout your life you may um something may just pop off and blow up randomly or whatever and you reach more people but instead of it just being a one moment it's your whole career path of this could potentially happen at any point as many times as it wants to because it's infinite like it could happen so many times where you just reach new audiences no matter how big or how small so instead of it being this one moment in time that you focus on it's about the whole journey of the like career path that you're taking and really enjoying creating the content for the whole of your career you know even though it's going to change and it's going to evolve and you may up the amount of days a week that you post, you may reduce it over time, like whatever, these things change all of the time. So it's not being fixated on specific numbers and metrics and things, but just being able to give yourself the vision of the fact that I'm gonna create content consistently for the foreseeable future, <laughs> because that's how you blow up, you know? So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload four times a week and all links to everything about me is in the description box below. So definitely check that out. Links to my music, my phone number because I do send daily inspirational spiritual thoughts and videos every day as well as my jewelry brand, my one-to-one -one sessions if you'd like to book a one-to-one -one session with me and my social media and everything else about me is in the description box below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.